Well, welcome back, folks. Been sh uh, what have we been doing? Slacking. That's the word I'm looking for. Slacking on our videos. We took about two weeks off. We're back. We're in Dubuque, Iowa. Racetrack here. Two sleds. So what we're going to do, uh, a lot of people have been asking for walk around, show sleds in detail and stuff. So I think today we got two sleds here. Tomorrow I will be in Valders with the old sled. So I'll do a walk around on that one tomorrow. But today we'll just give a quick walk around, show you the two sleds we have here. And then maybe in a later, later video I'll get more detail on how actually all the components work. So you want me to be the cameraman? Does that sound okay? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so this is our newest sled, Terminator. This was new to me last year, 2021 season. We're in the 2022 season. The sled was built brand new for the 2020 season by uh, B and D Enterprises. Uh, he's built a few sleds over, quite a few sleds over the years. They were all called the when he ran them. The ones he ran personally were all called the Terminator. Um, I pull it with this orange. Freightliner, also got it last year. This one uses, it's laying on the ground here, pinnel hitch. It slides in this hole here. And this truck's got a weight rack on it. Different, like I have mentioned in previous videos, all three of my sleds have different, different style hitches. So it's powered by a Deutz air-cooled diesel engine. Sits off on the left side. The engine sits off on the side here and it's got a big belt that drives to the transmission that sits in the center. And then up on top, that's the rear end that drives the box with the chains up and down the rails. Now on this side, your fuel tank, oil, hydraulic oil tank. This one's got uh, all your electrical components in here, relays and fuses and such. Uh, we can put weights on each side of the pan here. And in the box, I think we can hold up to 12 weights. Typically, I usually don't run any more than 10. Uh, this front drive axle, you can see it in there, but that's a two speed. So you got high, low, and then this transmission here has six speed, six gears for your box speeds. And then your Nexon air clutch here. I'll show you inside the cab. This is a John Deere tractor cab. got some custom, not really custom, but different components. It's got a John Deere steering column out of a combine in the seat and arm side console. It's out of a combine. It uses electric over hydraulic steering, so it doesn't steer like a normal. I've showed that in previous videos. Let me turn this on. It's got a Holley EFI dash. Fire it up. This is our sled monitor, measures our um, distance and speed. Program that right away. We're going to switch channels for ECI speed board. This is our Holly Dash.
here's our pulling order for tonight. Actually switched it up a little bit on me. But that's this sled. We'll check out the second one. So this is the orange semi. This is the one that pulls the Terminator. This one's got a custom made sleeper in it. Um, as you can see over here, we have, it's kind of a nice little camper. We got an air conditioning unit. Um, we got a refrigerator, microwave. Um, we do have a shower and a bathroom right here. We don't use that a whole lot. Usually we can find bathrooms and um, be honest, usually we don't shower unless it's Joshua once in a while, but me, there's too much maintenance that goes into the hair. So <laughs> I usually don't shower the second day that we're here, but um, then we do have uh, two bunk beds. Uh, we got a top one and a bottom one. They're both full size beds. Um, so a lot of times he sleeps on the top, I sleep on the bottom just cause sometimes you don't want to cuddle after a nice hot day. <laughs> so every now and then we do, but not very often. And then we do have a sink over here. We got a refrigerator, all that good stuff. Or I'm sorry, a mirror, all that good stuff, TV. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a nice place. I'm not gonna lie, we I took a nap earlier today. Um, so now we're just about to get ready to go do some walkthrough of the two sleds for you guys. Um, we are, we went to Maisel, Maine yesterday. Um, so we left Friday, we left yesterday morning. We drove down there, did a pull there last day. Didn't get any footage from there just cause there really wasn't anything different. Um, with that one, it was a Badger State Tractor Pulling Club, um, but there just wasn't really much to walk through or anything to do at that point. Um, so we didn't get any footage from last night. We just focused on the sled. They had a really good track and Josh was pretty happy with it, but we just wanted to make sure that everything went smooth. Um, so today we're with ECI. I think there might be another group here, but I'm not exactly sure who that is. Josh would have to inform you guys on that. But anyways, um, we are down in Dubuque, Iowa. We got here this morning about, or this afternoon, about one o'clock. We slept in Mesa, Maine yesterday um, and then drove here. It was about, we're a total of like four and a half hours away from home, um, but we stayed uh, three hours yesterday, stayed in Mesa, Maine, and then we came an hour and 15 minutes to get to Dubuque, so that wasn't too bad. Um, but we did go get some ice cream. Of course, you have to get ice cream when you're at a fair. <laughs> so we went and got some ice cream and then took a nap. Um, then Scott got here, Josh unloaded all the sleds with him and everything. So yeah, we're gonna do a walkthrough on the two sleds. I just wanted to kind of give you a little show as to what's behind the scenes. So here's our second one. This one I bought for the 2020 season. In a short year that year. Uh, we've named it the Public Enemy. It used to be the Terminator. I bought this sled in 2020 and Brad built this Terminator to replace this one. And last year he decided he uh, wanted to be done in the sled business to talk me into buying a third sled. So this one was built brand new, I believe, for the 2017 season. So it's about six years old. But it is basically the same as the other one. Just a couple years older. It uses all the same components, Deutz engine, transmission. Um, Cab is a cat challenger cab, egg coat cat challenger, whatever you want to call it. My buddy seat, and it's got the same side console out of a John Deere combine. Sled monitor's there. It's got a Holly dash mounted up in the factory location. I do have two way radios in all of my sleds as well. There's your Holly Dash. And we tow this one down the road with this Peterbilt truck. This one's got a hydraulic, electrical or hydraulic detached hitch. It pulls like a regular foot wheel on a semi. And you drive into it, some pins on the top that go in here, and then a pin goes in here. Got hydraulic cylinders. You raise it up and down. Pretty slick setup. I really like this hitch. But that's walk around on these two sleds. Like I said, Stay tuned to later videos, we'll get into more detail. Tomorrow I'll uh, go through, I'll show you the yellow, the old yellow sled. Go through some details on that. Tracy, you got anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, we're gonna do the ECI show tonight and we'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow. We'll do another walkthrough. Welcome back, Sunday. 
We're in Valders now. Made home from Dubuque early this morning. We didn't quite make it all the way home. We had to stop, take a nap. The dog what? Bella. The dog. dog has names, Bella. <laughs> so, got the old yellow study today. Mike ran the last two days here, and I'm going to finish up today. It's got local uh, farm tractors and such. They're all lined up over there. Then they got a car show going on. The parade just finishing up. There's quite a few things going on here. They had a horse pole yesterday. But this is our old yellow sled. I bought this in 2013 in the fall, and so my first year was 2014 with it. This is my ninth season running this sled. 2016. We added the cab. This thing didn't have a cab or nothing on it. It looked quite a bit different. We've redone it. Some different axles. Quite a bit of different stuff I've done to this sled over the years. It's been, it's been a really good sled. Um, really like it. Goes on the track nice and smooth. But I'll give you a little walk around here. Mike had an incident last night. Broke front wheel off. So, good buddy Chad here made us a new pin. But we're missing the bearing, so Tony's bringing us some bushing to put in there. We'll get that wheel put back on for today. But put a new wrap on it last year. Change the look a little bit. But this one is completely different than the other ones. This one's got bigger chains. I drive the box. It's got 160 chains instead of 140. Uh, the drive line comes up to the front. It's got a Ford tractor rear end instead of a truck rear end. Uh, the transmission's a simple chain and sprocket system. You switch the shafts, you switch gears. You got five box gears on this one only. Box clutch and the drive line. And then to go down the road, instead of taking it out and putting it in neutral like the other ones, this one we just take a quick coupler, like a track if you feel, and unhook it and hang it on the, on the hook here. So this one uses an international DT408 engine. I believe it was out of a school bus. Um, when I bought it, it had a manual five-speed transmission. It's now got an Allison 643 uh, Allison automatic. So this one is liquid cooled. It's not air cooled like the other ones. I don't see much in here, but kind of it's in line. The engine sits directly in the center. Transmission bolted right to it like it would be in a normal, normal situation. It's got a radiator in the center. Unlike the other ones, don't have a radiator because they're air cooled. And it's got a hydrostat that this guy here that brings the box back and two air compressors because this thing uses air for push on instead of hydraulics and then this very important guy is for your air conditioning that's very important to have especially today when it's hot i'm going to show you that this thing uses there's six airbags underneath between the frame and the pan here and they'll inflate and pick the whole back of the set up to put down pressure instead of hydraulics like new ones use hydraulics I'll jump up in the cab this is a john deere combine cab like out of a 9400 john deere combine i bought this on an online auction when i put this on i put all new interior in at that time it was in 2016 i believe so this one's a lot more basic it steers like a regular Steering wheel like a regular vehicle, sled monitor. Um, this one doesn't have a holly, you just got regular gauges and everything. So we use our hydrostat like combine to bring the box back. It controls your wheels and everything. The yellow button is would be your like a panic button. If something goes bad, you push this, it'll drop the pan and everything, turn the red lights on. The red button will pull the kill cable. Your green turns your green lights on and touch. You're gonna get a radio in this one back there so we can talk to the track crew if need be. So, yeah.
So that's a uh, quick run through on all three of the sleds. Um, Tony's coming, we're going to get that wheel put back on. And we're going to do these farm and antiques today. Get through that, and then we're going again on Wednesday. So, uh, you guys make sure to subscribe to the videos if you like them. I've been getting a lot of compliments at the polls. You guys ask when the next one's coming out. So, uh, we took a couple days off, but we'll try and get back at it. And please share it with your friends too. Hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you in the next video.